Yes, well, I posed a question this morning rather than just coming on rambling. So we'll talk about that in a second. <laughs> Can you hear trigger the next up with one barking? Right, so what we do, we just started this in lockdown because obviously you couldn't get too close to your neighbours. But so we started this little trend. So if you greet your neighbours or see your neighbours, this is how you should greet them today. Good morning, my neighbours! Hey, fuck you! Yes! Yes! You <laughs> so that's what we do. So, is the album dead? That's the question I'm posing this morning. I've been thinking about this. I've been interviewing a lot of artists recently, and the more I look at it, and the more I look at down downloading and streaming, is the album is the album gone forever? Are our, our artists actually producing albums? More and more artists are producing either EPs, which is four or five tracks, or they're producing singles. Because you know, I've got one here that I got sent the other week. Good morning, my neighbours. I've got one here that I've got sent the other week from uh, Charlotte Young, see? It's EP. Because everyone's time span is, is reduced, people are consuming stuff by streaming, they're not going out and buying a physical copy. Well, not many people are. So if you produce an album, is it counterproductive? Morning, my case. Is buying an album, is re releasing an album counterproductive? Because for us as, as uh, presenters and radio station, Morning, Malcolm. Yes, I know Malcolm. Yeah, uh, Mark's joined as well. <laughs> um, yeah, the more people I hit the interview, the more I realise and looking at us, us as presenters. We're looking, especially on Dougie Stone Radio, because we play lots of... I know we've got the 80s hour at 8 o'clock and the 90s hour, but fundamental, we play a lot of new releases, new music. We're always looking for new stuff. So if we're looking at streaming sites to look, see what's new and what's fresh... And people have, re say, released an album in October last year. Yes, we'll have got that as a first hit. But then we might move on. We constantly be, we need constantly reminding that it still exists, same as you in your business or whatever. Uh, afternoon. So I think the album's going less and less. And he, he was trying to do in one interview. And the guys actually said there's some people producing one minute tracks because of TikTok and uh, Instagram. One minute tracks. So the, everything's evolving all the time. So anyway, what's your favourite album of all time? Would you still buy an album? Would you still consume albums? So say, I don't know, Bon Jovi releases an album. Would you listen to that whole album? Or would you just listen to the tracks that gets released? It's really interesting. Yes. Well, if you want, Malcolm, join me at 8 o'clock. And I might have to play Donna, Donna Summer, I Feel Love. I know it's your most favourite track. And I actually adore it as well. I think it's an absolute doozy. 8 o'clock this morning, I'm doing the uh, 80s hour, first half of the breakfast show. Then Brimo comes in at 9 o'clock, finishes off for the 90s. But we've got an amazing interview at 10 o'clock on Thursday. It's my interview series. And this week, it's uh, a guy called Vast Air. Now, he's a hip-hop artist, but don't let that put you off. Because we don't just talk about hip-hop. We talk about blues. We talk about evolve, how music's evolved. We talk about racism in Harlem. We talk about a whole host of things. And um, this is one of his tracks. It's an absolute brilliant one. And then he kicks in the stats rapid. It's a wonderful track. New York Minute, it's wonderful, isn't it? Wonderful track. So check that out. He's a wonderful artist. Go and check him out. Vast Air, V A S. T and then uh, with an E on the end, A I R E. Wonderful track. But yeah, if you want anything playing for the 80s, drop it in here. Please share it. Come and join us. Just say Alexa Open Internet Radio, you'll find us. Or you can uh, or you can download the apps. Just type in D U W G Y S T O N E Radio. We're here for you 24 7. There's no news. All we're about is entertaining you. Nothing else than that. And that is it. We're not, in, we're not, we're not, nothing more than that entertaining you. Uh, we've got a lot of presenters on new ones. Young ones, all sorts of stuff. Our youngest presenters is 14, our oldest presenters in the 70s. We have everything from indie to Greek to pop to punk to everything. You name it, we do it. And we really focus on emerging artists. So if you know an emerging artist, send them our way. This is Dougie Stone Radio. Remember the name. Say my name. Anyway, I better go. I've got to get a playlist together. Come and join us 8 a.m. every morning for the 80s hour with me, Kurt Pickstone. And then the rest of the day is new music and all sorts of stuff. Check out the season ticket if you like uh, sport because Brim on the team do an amazing job. And that's zooming up iTunes 
Uh, it's getting a lot of reviews and it's uh, we've applied for the BBC, a BBC award for that. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that'll get that as well. Anyway, I'm going to get going. Don't forget, good morning, my neighbours. See you later. Have a great day. Stay safe.